Recently, a new show about Jeffrey Dahmer came out on Netflix, so I've been seeing a lot about him on social media lately. If you aren't aware, Jeffrey Dahmer is one of the most notorious serial killers in history who murdered 17 people in the 80s and 90s. I have some thoughts about him that I wanted to share with you, but be warned, I do share some details about his murders that are disturbing, so just be aware if that's not for you. Also, full disclaimer, I have not watched the new show and I'm not an expert in serial killers or Jeffrey Dahmer, but as a psychotherapist, there's a part of me that's curious and fascinated by a character like Dahmer. I think many of us are. That's why there's a show about him that's number one on Netflix, last I checked. How does a human being get that far gone? How does a person become so twisted, so corrupted that they could do the things that Dahmer did? When we think of someone like Dahmer, we think there's absolutely no way that we have anything in common with such a monster. We think someone like Dahmer must have been pure evil, with not an ounce of humanity, a person without a soul. Well, I listened to some parts of an interview with Dahmer, and some things he said struck me. He said in the interview that he didn't kill his victims out of hate or anger. The murders weren't malicious in the way we would normally think. He said he actually wanted his victims to stay with him. He didn't want them to ever leave. He wanted to keep them. Dahmer was homosexual, and all his victims were men and boys, so there was definitely a sexual element in his crimes. He would preserve their body parts and their bones so that he could possess them forever. Dahmer took many, many Polaroid photographs of his victims. And when he was asked why he did that, he said it was a way for him to remember their physical beauty. At a certain point, he began to actually eat parts of their bodies. He said he did that because he wanted his victims to become a part of him. Towards the end, he even carried a head in his bag to work because he wanted to keep a part of his victims with him. Now, if you've watched some of my other videos on this channel, you'll know that a consistent theme I talk about is the inherent need for connection we have as human beings. We live in a totally interconnected universe, and that's reflected in our own desire for connection and community with others. We're deeply social creatures, and we thrive when we feel connected to others in healthy ways. I believe that love is at the center of the universe because it's so central to who we are as human beings, and because love is a kind of connecting force which reflects the interconnected nature of the universe itself. So when I look at a case like Dahmer, I'm blown away that as twisted and tragic and perverted as he became, that underneath it all, I can see the same humanity, the same desire, the same need, the same longing for love and connection that we all have. We all just want love and connection, even Dahmer. It's clear to me that somehow Dahmer lost his ability to connect with others in life. I remember reading that before Dahmer was actually caught for murder, he underwent a series of psychological evaluations and that they revealed, among other things, that Dahmer harbored deep feelings of alienation. Something happened to Dahmer that caused him to feel completely isolated and completely alone. The more this sense of isolation deepened, the more disturbed he became. He discovered that the only way he could alleviate the pain of that isolation temporarily was through his killing. It was a completely corrupted way of actually seeking connection, seeking to feel close to others through possessing them. You can see that that was his actual motivation all along, seeking connection, seeking to alleviate the pain of isolation. I hope that there's never another case like Dahmer. My thought is that maybe if we can gain a better understanding of how someone like him came into existence, if we can gain a clear understanding of what we as human beings most deeply need, namely love, that we can prevent people like Dahmer from becoming so incredibly lost and corrupted. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe.